Yeah. So that right there, the old gardener's bimbo, is that's where they moved the clinic that Dr. Kane and my mother and them were holding my son's, mine and my husband's son captive and diagnosing us with their armed robber boyfriend, attorney Bill Conway. Dr. Kane is Lorna Garwood's relative and a judge in Horst and Iris O'Brien, Dr. Molly and Michelle Kane, they're all family. See, and that's true X right there. Right there. Is, we're about, we're coming up right now on uh, where June and them are holed up, including cocaine married relative Stephanie Green at JFF and Tenant Resource. They were have been they've had their criminal installation, and where Aaron Blacks, Ken Black from Toma, remember when Sandy Winishek, Gail Darnells, and their relatives were thieving, kind of forced it shut down. Yeah, that's where Ken Black's relative Aaron was supplying crack cocaine to my cousin Deb Blackie in a home scene, that, and that's where you know June and all of them. That's their criminal installation right there. And that was where April Hack Walker's mother was. Remember when they displaced her daughter and were bumming around with the Maya and the Maya was sexually abused and died of their drugs in age three? Yeah, see? See what I'm saying here? And so here, now we're coming up. We're gonna be at the River Pantry and right across the street is where Lorna's son, their federal drug manufacturer, Edward, uh, his son's incest and their famous marriage daughter, Elena, are living in their Cisneros that you see from Rising Sun and Mosier's and Cindy Bloom that I was telling you about earlier, where they're holed up. Um, Lorna inherited a trailer from Spay and Neuter Clinic, so that's where they were holding my, my children and having the Heimsness, who was in charge of the armory, then beat me instead of rescuing my children, you know, and they're moving my children around. See, here's MITC. Right there. See, see where we're at. So, yeah, we're heading up there right now. Blaine, Edward McGraw, and they're trafficking Stacey Knutes, and that's how they came across Stacey, Dion McGraw, Xander Meekum, and their crew. And Dion McGraw, Xander Meekum, um, and her daughter, Cherie McGraw, or Cherie Bluel, C-H-E-R-I, B L U P L or Marie McGraw. Um, yeah, that they're trafficking Dion's niece or granddaughter too. Ash, uh, Ashley Heim McGraw. Heim is not her name, that's Lane's wife. Lane McGraw's wife's name. And he saw their sons, Sean and Chase Monk, home invading the elder Lane. He's eating and April Walker and them stalking on us, including on housing initiative Dean. On Fairmont and her delivering our drugs. You know, Amy Strong. Somebody needs to take care of their federal drug trafficking agents because we don't want it. And that's why Missouri and them refused to help us. And he saw their gang imposing themselves. So now, if you take a right up here, you'll be at by the airport. And if you take a left, over there, see, you'll be by Oscar Meyer and back by my house where they were trafficking after kidnapping from the VA and they made Nathaniel Joseph King through my VA care, depriving of home and things. Okay, so that you can see where we're at. And so I'll be showing you this video. You're going to be seeing it and then you're going to be seeing the parties delivering their drugs and trafficking our children as agents. That Schimmel and Koval and Detective Kohlmeyer threatening and assisting us and assisting them and continuing their trafficking for control. For, you know, our sexual assault things as rape relationships, you know, under false pretenses. You see that? And Lorna Garwood, if you kept going, um, Marcy Road, you kept going down School Road, past Vera Court, you take a right, and then you go under the train bridge and you take a left. That's her in the duplex. Lorna, and that's where they were all camped out. And you see her son, Alan Rick McGraw, Sinaloa drug trafficker with Ryan Lee McGraw, represented by Mandel and Ginsburg. 
him and his ex-wife, Rosalie Carter McLaughlin, Black Carter Gangs with Blues, heroin and crack addicts, were living at her house manufacturing and using drugs with Lorna, including cocaine and opiates. All right, that's Tyrone Adair's family. So they're, you know, they're, we have no protection from them instead of their criminal installation under the guise of being home and family and then displacing our homes and families and subjugating us to their criminals. See right here? Yeah. Or we keep going, that's Oak Park Trailer Court, okay? We keep going forward that way. And see, this is where we're at for a point of reference. There's associated the clinic. Well, um, yeah. See right there, down that way, and Cocaine Mary's social services traffickers. Okay. See, if you go through the end of this parking lot here at the pantry that we're forced to go through because they won't let us have our benefits and eat and pay our bills and stuff and have, keep our homes. Um, yeah, if you go across the way, that's Oak Park Trailer Court, okay? You can go, also go through the back here, and it leads out, and that's Oak Park, right through there. Okay?